Jake, congratulations, you got the Bradford Bulls Live on Pulse 2, Bradford Bulls Player of the Season Award as voted by the fans. Oh yeah, that's um, pretty special isn't it, you know, it's uh, a bit of a shock. Um, we've got some players this year who have been playing outstanding, you know. Uh, I think Keezy, if he was there for a lot longer, he, was, he would have been in the running for sure. You know, many. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty proud to get that for sure. We just ed edged Elliot Michella by, uh, I think it was less than 50 votes. But, uh, oh, he'd yeah. be filthy about was, that, I think. It was a close run for It was a close run for uh, what, what are your thoughts on, on the performance today? 82 points to nil, the, the biggest uh, Bradford win of the season. Yeah, it was, you know, it was one of those games, you know, it could have been a gone either way, but the boys really, really stuck it stuck it to him, you know, we uh, spoke about it all week, we got to do injustice to ourselves if we didn't turn up and put a good performance in, um, we didn't want to be the, the second team that they beat, so uh, I think the boys trained really well all week, you know, and um, it, it's, you know, been a, about us all year, you know, we've, we've had some ups and downs, some, uh, some rubbish thrown at us, but the boys have stuck together, you know, and uh, to finish six after, after the year we've had. I think so. a credit to their coaching staff and, and a credit to the boys themselves. There was a lot of emotion out there on the field with numerous players playing the, the final game in the, the red, amber and black. Is that something you focused on this week, giving everyone the perfect send-off? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it was, it's a sad time, you know, people move on uh, and people you know, people that have been here for, for a long time and, and helped the Bulls get out of the, out of uh, League One uh, to get the championship. So it's you know, it's a sad day, but also a day to uh, to celebrate. You know, uh, the, the contribution they've given us, and um, you know, it was a great send off. You know, we had Heath also playing his hundredth game, which is you know, at his age, is fantastic. I don't think that's anywhere near hundred uh, when when I was uh, what is he 20, 23, 24? 23, yeah, yeah, twenty three. You know, so that's a a great, great achievement on, on its own. Just on that performance, so 82 points to nil, 12 different try scorers, and you kept Rochdale scoreless. I think that's the, the most uh, uh, impressive thing, you know, keeping them scoreless. Um, you know, we always knew we could score points, and um, it, it, it was a credit to, to everyone's attitude. You know, they, they had us on our line a few times, kicking some balls in, and um, there was desperation uh, when there was no need to be. You know, so that's just uh, a credit to, to the boys. You know, their attitude was great today. Does this performance this afternoon set the bar high for, for next year? Oh yeah, it's going to be a different year next year. You know, we've got some obstacles to, to overcome, um, but you know, it's just a, it's a building platform. You know, we know we've got uh, a good core core group of players so if we can just build on build on that and um, move into the pre-season with a positive attitude then it's uh, you know it's, uh, it's nothing but good things to look forward to you're going to be of course part of the Bradford Bulls in season 2020 you're going to have players like Steve Crossley Jordan Lilly Rowan Milnes Maddie Stoughton Joe Keys exciting times yeah it is you know we, we, we've kept a you know, a, a good core base of players that have that have really performed really well this year. You know, and that's going to keep, you know, keep improving the team. So just add a few to that, and um, hopefully bring a few young fellas through. Uh, then you know, we, you know, the sky's the limit, really. How do you reflect on your your first season at the club? Obviously, a lot of lows, but uh, some some magical highs. I don't think you'll ever forget beating Leeds in the Challenge Cup. No, that was you know something that was very special for the club um, and for a lot of the local boys. And to be a part of that is. You know, it's something that'll that'll sit high in my my memories for sure. But um, you know, just just the season that 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 we've had is you know something to build on. Like we cemented our you know we're here. You know, everyone knows that Bradford's here. But you know, the next step is to make those playoffs and uh and push for you know where where the greatness is of, of Super League. You know, and where Bradford should be. So hopefully. In the next uh, six months, that uh, we get we get uh, off to a good start in the pre-season and start off to a good year. You were saying, Jake, about about the obstacles you've got to face next year. Obviously, going to Dewsbury, is it, is it something players have talked about? Yeah, have you sort of got your head around that a little bit? Yeah, I think um, for the club to move forward and to you know to <laughs> get the the playing squad we need, it's 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 going to be nothing but positive. You know, it's. Uh, I don't know the exact figures, but it was a lot of money to, 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 to play out of out of Odsall. And for uh, a club like us who is, you know, trying to get back on your feet, it's it, it's going to be nothing but positive. I think we just need need to make sure that the fans buy into it, mm -hmm. you know, and support us no matter where we are. Yeah, I was going to say, if performances are good, that'll attract the fans, won't it? Yeah, it will, you know, and, and, and that'll, that'll uh, you know, put a big foot forward for us to, to get back into Bradford, which is, I think, what everyone's ultimate goal is, to get back to Bradford, whether it be Odsall or, you know, anywhere. But, uh, you know, if, if we can do what our job is on the field, then um, I'm pretty sure that the fans will come. And obviously it's a slightly different sort of stadium in the sense of, you know, Odsall's a big old pitch and yeah. Dewsbury's a lot different. I mean, is that going to... Uh, Take a bit of getting used to, do you think? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think um, 
you know, the size of the pitch is probably the, as you said, is the playing surface is going to take a little bit of getting used to. But not, it's not going to have that much of a big effect, I don't think. You know, the boys are very professional in everything they do. You know, we'll, we'll plan for everything. And, and I think uh, if we can fill that, you know, that's going to help be nothing but a bonus for us. You know, Oddsall gets a bit, uh, you know, a bit quiet in the, with the size of it. You know, we don't it's fill cute. it. It's just so big. I know, the awe of it, you know, yeah. like you're there, you could have four or five thousand there and, it, and you really can't yeah. hear it. But yeah, four or five thousand at, at Dewsbury, I think it's going to make yeah. a big difference.